All right, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the uh, new and improved uh, P90 drop-in kit. Uh, this is the P90 drop-in kit for the Wolverine Airsoft Hydra using the Hydra P90 engine. Uh, this is the kit. I'll go into this in a little bit later. Let's set this aside and start by first uh, preparing the P90 for installation. Uh, we'll take uh, this is a King Arms P90. I'm just going to take out the magazine for now and then uh, take out the upper receiver and set that aside. And then next, what I'm going to want to do is go ahead and remove the gearbox from the gun. So I'm going to take out the back plate here, remove that, and then there are two screws that need to be removed to take out the back plate. So I'm going to grab a screwdriver here and take out these screws. See if you can still see that on the camera. And once I take those two screws out, you can just tilt it forward. And actually, I probably have to uh, move the power cord there. Okay, set that aside as well. And at this point, the P90 engine uh, gearbox actually just slides right out of the back of the gun. There you go. And you won't need to open this or muck with this at all. Just set it aside. Okay. Uh, to install the engine, it's actually just sliding it right into the back, but I think it's actually easier to uh, remove this bottom plate here. So you just grab this with a couple pliers, and you should be able to pull it right out. And we're going to need to drill a hole on the back here at about two inches from this point here. And I'll go ahead and mark it and then I'll demonstrate uh, drilling a hole here in a second. So about two inches to two and a quarter inches. We'll dr drill for the airline exit. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate drilling a hole in the bottom of the uh, P90 using a stepper bit. And basically just line it up on the mark. And There you go, and you can clean it up with a deburring tool if it has any sharp edges. Okay, now that I have the airline exit hole drilled, installing the uh, drop-in kit is actually very straightforward. All you have to do is first line up the air exit uh, air line with the exit hole so it comes out. I help to uh, bend that just a little bit. There you go, and. The kit is designed to allow the airline to fall into this groove right here when you insert it. So you just put this into the back of the P90. And you can pull this airline through at the same time. And it'll just seat itself right in place, just like that. You can see that the uh, trigger push arm will rest up against the switches, and I'll show you how to adjust that in a second. Once this is in place, you can now put the back plate back on. Just run the wire harness through the back. Put the back plate in. The top goes in first and then you lock in the bottom. And then you can attach uh, two screws back here. Now that that's in, that's basically all of the installation. Now I left this part open here so you can see how to adjust the switches. When it's on uh, safe, or safe is this way, it shouldn't move at all. In semi-auto, it should only depress this first switch that's located right there. And then in full auto, it'll press the first switch and then fully press the second switch. So you should be able to do both of those. There you go. Now, um, if they're not hitting cleanly, you can just bend these little levers until they activate on the push rod at the appropriate time in the different uh, parts of the trigger throw. And all that's left to do now is essentially reinstall the upper, put the upper back in, depress that lock in place. Obviously your magazine can just go right back on the top. And then you uh, can actually put this bottom clip right back in, just like that. And you have your FCU. 
and battery. And now it should be good to go. So we'll start with um, semi-auto and full auto. You can hear that in there. Um, the FCU and wire harness can fit right here in the back. Just put the extra harness above. There's quite a large uh, amount of space in the back of the P90 here. It should all fit neatly inside there. Put the cap on, the back uh, plate on, and then you have your airline. Attach your fitting, and then you can attach uh, an air hose to it here, and you can see that it's fired. There you go. To service the engine, you simply have to remove, detach the FCU and battery, and remove the back plate so it's the two screws and this back plate just pulls right out. And then again, the engine will simply slide right out the back. You can just grab it right here at the top and pull it straight out the back. And it sometimes helps if this gets caught to uh, feed the airline through. There you go. You can set the body aside and the engine's extracted. To actually get at the Hydra, there are five screws that you'll need to remove. There are three three millimeter screws back here on the back and this is the, in the mid middle part of the engine. Slightly loosen those. And then there are two smaller screws right up here at the front that close the front of the drop-in kit. And you can take these two screws out and this just lifts right off. Now the full auto switch is attached to this half, but at this point you can just Remove the Hydra, uh, service it, put it right back in place. You can see the uh, trigger board uh, or the um, wiring board is attached at the back over here. Just put these back together and put the screws back in and you're good to go. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to maintain and um, you don't have to mess with the grease or the gears or anything else with the gearbox. Just drops right in.